Hi, this is problem three from the 2016 AIM. A regular icosahedron is a 20-face solid where each face is an equilateral triangle and five triangles meet at each vertex. The regular icosahedron shown below has one vertex on the top, one on the bottom, and an upper pentagon of all five vertices all adjacent to the top vertex and all in the same horizontal plane. And a lower pentagon of five vertices is also in a single horizontal plane. Find the number of paths from the top vertex to the bottom vertex such that each part of the path goes downward or horizontally along an edge of the icosahedron, and no vertex is repeated. Oh boy, what a wordy problem. So I always get a little scared when I see a counting problem on the aim because it can be very messy, but uh, since this is one of the earlier problems, I'm hoping that this problem isn't too complicated, and I'll try to proceed on that assumption. So let's see here. It looks like we have different levels of this icosahedron. So let me label those. We have a level zero, I'll call it. Level one, level two, and level three. We're trying to find the number of paths from level zero to level three, such that uh, we go horizontally or downward, but never up. So we're gonna try to proceed from level zero to level one, to level two, to level three, without backing up. And that's kind of the key to this problem, and I think that's what makes this problem doable, because it looks like that we're not backing up makes the ways that we get from level zero to level one independent of the number of ways that we get from level one to level two, and that's independent of the number of ways that we get from level two to level three. So it looks like we can just count the number of ways to do these transitions from zero to one, one to two, and two to three, and just multiply these numbers at the end. And I think that'll work. So let's try to figure out these details. So to go from level zero to level one, it looks like we can just scoot down this icosahedron in five different ways. So that's just a factor of five to get from zero to one. Now, once we get to level one, we can scoot down to level two in one of two ways, or it looks like we can go one, two, three, four, positions clockwise and then scoot down one of two ways in each of those positions or one two three four positions counterclockwise and then scoot down in one of two ways so we have nine ways to scoot around the pentagon and two ways to scoot down at the end and that introduces a factor of nine times two to get from level one to level two and once we get to level two, we can play, a, play the same game with uh, going around the pentagon. We can either uh, go one, two, three, four clockwise, one, two, three, four counterclockwise, or just stay put. So that's a factor of nine. And then there's only one way to get down from two to three once we scoot around the uh, pentagon. That's a factor of one. Uh, so that's to get from two to three. And it looks like these processes are at least the number of ways to get from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3 is independent. So we can just multiply these numbers to get the total number of ways. 2 times 5 is 10. 9 times 9 is 81. And that's our final answer. And I think it's correct. But again, with these counting problems, you can never be too sure. So hope that helped. And we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.